In this lecture, we will learn how to perform a breath-first search on a tree in Python. A breath-first traversal can apply either to a tree data structure or a graph data structure. With a tree, the breath-first traversal is a horizontal traversal. We traverse through all of the children of a node before moving on to check or visit the grandchildren nodes. Before we perform a breath-first search, let's construct a tree that has more nodes. We will create a variable named node g that will be set to a node with the data value of g, a left child of none, and a right child of none. Then we will have a node f with the string value f, a left child of none, and a right child of none. Next, we will have a variable node e, which will have a data value of e, a left child of none, and a right child of none. After that will come node d, set to a node with the data value of d, a left child of none, and a right child of none. We will have a variable named node c, which will be set to a node with a value of c, a left child of node f, and a right child of node g. Then we will have a node b variable with a string value of b, a left child of node d, and a right child of node e. Finally, we will have a node a variable with a string value of a, a left child of node b, and a right child of node c. Now it's time to write our breath first search function. We will use the def keyword and name our function breath first search. Our function will take in one parameter named root. Inside of our function, we will create a nodes variable and set it equal to an empty list. If the root is none, then we will return from the function. Then we will insert the root at position zero in the list. While the length of nodes is greater than zero, we will pop a node from the list. If the node is not none, then we will print the nodes data to the PyCharm console. If the nodes left child is not none, we will insert the nodes left child at position zero. Similarly, if the node's right child is not none, then we will insert the node's right child at position zero in our list. Outside of the function definition, we will call the breath first search function that we created and pass in the root node of our tree, node A. When we run the code, you will notice that our breath first search was successful. The nodes were printed in the order A, B, C, D, E, F, G. In the next lecture, we will learn how to perform a depth-first search on a tree in Python.